I don't know about you guys, but I'm really like to print on a glass surface. It gives that glossy and smooth bottom surface to your model. Only problem is, printing on a glass surface requires some kind of adhesive glue or spray to hold down your prints and stop them from warping. Especially if you print ABS, who warps a lot. Now, the company name Anycubic thinks that have solution to our problem and that solution is called the Ultra Base. Ultra Base is a temporary glass with a surface that can stand up the temperature up to 400 degrees. On the top of the glass, there is a layer of the special porous coating which provides great addition when the heat is on and when the heat is off, the surface shrimps in a micro level and force out the print which makes prints removable very easy. Also this coating is very strong and the most hardness is 7 to 8 so the ultra base can stand the scalpers, peelers, tweezers during everyday usage. For maintenance, just wipe it up with the alcohol coat if needed. With all that said and with a price of just 23 bucks, with the shipping, I decided to get one ultra base and try out these claims by myself. Since my old E3 Mega has pretty beat up build tech on and it did not came with the ultra base like the newest model now, I decided to do this upgrade. My old build tech was very stuck and I had to use the heat to release the glue which then leaves a lot of glue remaining on my aluminum plate and I have to use the acetone to clean it properly, which takes around 10-15 minutes. But even so, it's better for me to actually clean up properly instead that I just pull hard that build tech when it's cold, which can bend my rods and mess up my heat bed alignment. Of course, if you don't want to use the sticker, which is on the bottom part of ultra base and stick to your aluminum heated bed, you can just use the paper clips and just attach it like a temporary. Which I think it's a pretty good idea if you want to use the ultra base for bigger printers like CR10. Alright, let's see where we at. I have done my bed leveling, let's see if it's correct, yeah, left corner seems to be nice. Let's go into the right corner right here, let's zoom in, come on, yeah, it looks nice. The most important here is that the nozzle is not rubbing against and not scraping the glass, so let's see where we at right here on the left one. Back left corner, yeah, it looks nice. And in the middle, let's just zoom in. Yeah, it looks okay. Great. Okay, for the first test, we're gonna try ABS. This is a wood uh, color of ABS. And we're gonna try to print the case for my GoPro. Let's see how it will go in the first layer. So far, so good, let's see. Again, this is ABS, so we are trying to print this in ABS on the glass without any spray adhesive of whatever. So straight to this ultra base. We'll see how it goes. All right. So far, so good. I'm gonna keep recording until it's finished the first layer. And then we're gonna switch to the time lapse. All right, seems to be nice. Let's go to the time lapse. And the printing is almost done. Yep, it's done. It looks pretty good actually. There is no warping that I can see from here. Nope, it's nothing. Yeah. That was easy actually, that was very easy to remove. And the surface looks pretty good, nice to the touch. Alright, that was easy, but what about the remaining? Alright, that was pretty easy actually. And I will call that a successful print, it fits nice to my GoPro. Alright, the next print again in ABS, but this time we're gonna try to print arm for the quadcopter. Let's see how it goes. Now this model has a little bit more surface on the bottom. So I'm curious to see how this model will stick to the heated bed. So I'm gonna keep recording the full first layer and then again we're gonna switch to the time lapse. So far so good. Yeah, it's going pretty good.
Alright, let's switch to the time lapse and we're gonna take it from there. Alright, the printing is now done. And I don't see any warping. Alright, let's zoom in and see better. Well, look at that. No warping. Awesome. And what if we remove when it's hot? We already try when it's cold, we know it's easier, but what about the hot? No, not that bad. So even if you want to do it when it's hot, you can do it. But still, it's much easier when it's cold. And the bottom surface looks awesome. It's straight, nice and look very similar like when you're printing on the straight glass. Alright, our next print is gonna be printing in PLA. Heated bed here is on 55 degrees and we'll see how it goes. This print is a holder for keys. It's a pretty big print and it's gonna take a lot of hours and I'm gonna just recording like before the first layer and then we're gonna go to the time lapse. And here also I wanna point how high actually is my nozzle from the heated bed. You can clearly see that it's not even leveled correctly and you can clearly see that my nozzle should go down at least 0.1 millimeter. But this is of course just a test and just let's see what's gonna happen in a worst case scenario. Are the ultra base is gonna be able to hold this in a place during the whole printing time. And I'm gonna record this first layer and see how it goes. And then we're gonna switch to the time lapse and I will leave this printer to print this under night and in the morning we're gonna find out and if you don't want to watch the printing first layer just skip forward one and a half minute to find out the results of course i will stay because i love watching 3d printer printing stuff And the printing is done and no warping looks great let's try to take it off oh that's it nice no warp on any side great surface flat smooth awesome and this thing again very easy to remove no marks nothing awesome well guys, I think that Ultra Base is a very good upgrade for any 3D printer with MKA2 or MKA3 heated bed size. And this Ultra Base turns to be pretty good actually. And I already upgrade my CR10S and my ANAT6 stand right there. So they both have Ultra Base now. Alright guys, that was my review of Ultra Base. If you wanna check it out, have a look in the links in the video description. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I see you next time. Bye bye.